right, people, what the hell is up? It is not quite early morning, but it is early enough, at least for a Sunday. It's somewhere in between 10 and 11 o'clock. And what I'm going to do is, um, I did do a little bit of a workout yesterday. I can feel it. I can feel, I can feel it. It ain't like I didn't do nothing. Um, I did want to go to the gym because I was telling myself, look, I don't want to go to the, the gym. I got to pay to go to the gym, even though I'm paying for the gym. And, um, you know, I got weights and stuff at the house and I keep making all these plans. I keep changing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no use to going to the gym and I got weights at the house. And then I'll be like, I got to go to the gym because I want to go to the gym because I can get a better workout, you know, especially leg wise and because uh, I don't have all the fancy machines and shit here at the house. And I got enough, but so today I'm just going to go to the gym. So I can get a comfortable workout in and do somewhat, at least for now, what I was planning on doing where uh, at least once a week, I, I'm saying once a week, it might end up being a couple times a month, depends on money and, you know, transportation costs, because I got to catch an Uber to get up to the fucking gym, so there's that. And that's 25, 30 bucks just off the top right there coming from somebody who ain't got no goddamn job so <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go to the gym and the fact that I know I gotta pay $25, $30 you know up there and back uh, you know it, it's, it's a no bullshit zone this ain't the first time I, you know I had to uh, you know Uber myself up to the gym and that's on your mind while you up there it ain't like some of the times where I would go to the gym and I wouldn't feel it. I just take my ass home. I, I I can't fucking do that. So I go up there, um, get me a good workout in, close to full body as I can get. Of course, I gotta hit abs and shit. I gotta hit abs. I have to hit legs. That's priority. Abs and legs, and um, abs, legs, back. It'll be a lot of broad exercises. It ain't gonna be uh, you know none of that isolation shit. I won't be doing no curls and no shit like that. Cause I don't even know if I have the the conditioning to do one of those, you know, to be in a gym for two, three hours like I used to. I'm, I'm gonna have to go in there with a plan, you know. I gotta do shoulder press. I'm not ready to do bench press. I might get bench press in. It depends on which machines are open. Cause I got a bench here. Um, shoulder press. That's that's one of the staples. Um, I got to get on the leg press. Um, I have to do abs, and I got to get a back. So I think that's four things. It might end up being five exercises because back is kind of difficult. You know what I'm saying? Back is kind of difficult. You know, to because it's a bunch of different exercises. You got upper back, lower back. <laughs> I know they got a lower back machine in there that you can like, lean back and do it. I might get on that too because I never get no exercise for my lower back stuff like that. So um, what I'm going to have to do is once I get in there, it's going to be bam, 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 bam. Four to six sets, eight to ten. I'm going to have to keep everything four to uh, eight to ten. God damn it. Four, to, four sets of eight to ten. Um... And of course, that's that's the plan. How I'm feeling is a whole different thing. Hey, cat, I'm trying to record here. No, oh, man, you getting on my nerve. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Um, I'm gonna try to journalist. Uh, I don't know. I'll be I'll be shooting little clips throughout the day. Probably not while I'm in the gym, unless I'm doing like close up or like me, or I get in the mirror and, and shoot a little video. Of my, my y'all could tell right now I have no. Uh, this is what's sitting around the house for. Uh, this is what's sitting around the house for. Uh, 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 what about three, four, four years now? I mean, it's 2022, 20, for the most part, for at least two and a half, two and a half years. It probably ain't been that long, but sitting around the house for definitely over a year and a half. We'll do this to you. you lose all whatever, you know. So I got to go to the gym and get all of this. Uh, 
wimp it, look, wimp it looking this off me. Then I do like a weigh in and stuff like that. Y'all know how how the gym is with people and, and uh, I mean I can I can record myself and stuff like that, but you can't go around just with your phone just pointing it all over the place in the gym. But anyway, I still got a ways to go because my my primary phone is charging. Uh, and it was at 10% just a minute ago, so they give me some time to get all my stuff ready, pack up my gym bag. Um, I got my gym clothes ready, and I'm for the grid to head out um, when all this is done. So I will catch y'all on the flip side. All right, people. So it is a couple hours later, and of course y'all can see I'm still here at the house. And I am not going to the gym. That's that is some shit up. that's gonna have to wait until and so we can later. Also go back. See, <laughs> it's gonna have to wait going. until later. Um, you know what the right now, uh, like I said, I, I, I got some some shit I got to do with the truck first, towards inspection and registration and stuff like that. I just got ready to put my uh, the is Uber thing in. The wind and, the pine and it's like sad. it's like sixteen dollars. The sun is happy today. It's like sixteen dollars. That's to get there for eleven uh, ten minute ride up the freeway. What they wanted to prove in the nineteenth century on an empty freeway at that. I mean, that ride from my house. It's no lights. You hop over the freeway. You make one exchange. You keep straight. For about 10 minutes, like 7 miles, or however long it is, 7, 8 miles, and that's like 16 bucks. I'm like, nah, nah, I mean, I could do that, I'd have to have a whole lot more to do than to stop at the fucking gym, and I thought about it, I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it, and I was like, man, that's $30. That is to say... That's thirty. That's not including the tips. That is so I'm looking at forty dollars. Is known to us by being translated. And into the shape you know, while I'm brains. recording this, I might still go. And therefore, is human. Because I might need to spend that forty dollars just to motivate my ass. You know what I'm saying? Just to motivate my ass to get going. Because if I walk next door, if I do, if I walk next door and do my workout, the the it ain't gonna be nothing like it, like the workout I would do at the fucking gym. So while I'm talking shit right now. My next update might be of me at the motherfucking gym. I'm fully aware of that. It's anthropomorphic, in other words. Um, I'm weighing the options whether so everywhere you see to be smart or be cheap. Smart or cheap. Smart thing to do is just go ahead and sit, go to the fucking gym, spend a little $40, write that shit off. And it's as long as long Go to the gym, do what I gotta do. Which, you know, the more I'm talking about it, the more I think I might end up doing. Or just go but next door see, just as and attempt to do a workout. Exemplifies unity. So brevity. Yeah. Emphasizes which is not which is not pleasant length. because it's not air conditioned over there. No, it's just hot. Out it's already in the time. afternoon right now. It's after twelve. Just it's probably one something right now. So uh, right now in Houston, it's if it ain't already past ninety degrees, it's 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 on its way. And I'm pretty sure at so, one o'clock it's already ninety something degrees outside. So. Um, the, I'm thinking. I'm thinking because <laughs> I don't want to have to come out night. It's not forty dollars, but but I knew that going in. I knew that going in. So I'm thinking. Smart thing to do? Go to the fucking gym. Easy thing to do, which probably won't benefit me in it because I don't have uh, uh, right equipment and stuff over there to do the stuff that I want to get accomplished today. It is. I'm thinking that I might just go ahead and go to the fucking gym and say fuck it. Well, and then because at that point I'd be like, okay, if I get stuck in one spot, I go to the gym. I have to leave. I, well, I can always call an Uber to come pick me up from the gym, but thing is, I will walk from that gym to the dollar store while I'm on that side of town. That's how you. Which is. Concord. I ain't gonna say quite a ways, but it's a good ass walk. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I've done it a couple times. You arise together. Walk from there to the dollar store. In time, go to the dollar store. It may start long before and, you arrive. Just uh, as the since I broke two pair of shades uh, last week, and pick up uh, fruit. pick up a, a, a few pair of shades and maybe a couple of other items I might can give. Oh, I need blue water. 
I need the uh, the toilet the toilet tabs. That ain't got nothing to do with working out, but that dollar store sells so the, the toilet tabs that I like. And they, you know, how you buy toilet tabs, they come, you know, the little blue water tabs. They got uh, <laughs> I'm talking about this. Uh, they usually come like two or three in a pack. That dollar store sells some. They come five in a pack. Well, you know what I'm saying? They come five in a pack. And they green though, but I mean it don't matter. But they come five in a pack. So if I if I go, I gotta make sure that I make it worth then you know this me going out there. So I got I got toilet tabs I gotta pick up and uh, well, what we call the long some more shades I need to pick up because that dollar that same dollar store the same they sell um of which short is the other end. Foster Grants. They sell Foster Grant uh, the same fucking shades that you would spend $20, 15 $20 for piece, in fucking Walgreens. Those Foster Grants, they have the those line. in that dollar store for maybe like Imagine, uh, two bucks. I know they raised the price on them since I first started way. buying shit now. That's why I have a whole the bunch of shades in my goddamn years, thing. But uh, well. We I need to buy a couple more pairs just, you know, for no, the hell of it. I lost two pairs, so I might as well replace those. So, now that I recorded this, I think I'm going to end up go just end up just getting up and going anyway. For the simple fact that I need to actually get out of this neighborhood. I need to get out of this neighborhood. I take my walks and shit like that, but it's all around here. I can't freely just drive because the... Uh, inspection and shit is out on my truck. And... Purely you. That my gym is like, even though it's only well, it's ten minutes up the road, the that actually takes you out of. Uh, and underneath that, it takes you into a different uh, police jurisdiction. Right so I mean, you that gym is actually located in Jacinto City, which is small town police territory. Y'all know how it is, small town police. They will write your ass up for anything. The same time HPD, you know what I'm saying? They, they they got other shit going on. They do their little traffic shit, but you know what I'm saying? Unless you get caught in a fucking speed trap or you doing some stupid shit, you probably won't get pulled over. Unless there's something seriously wrong with your vehicle. Out there, if you got a scratch on your paint, then that goes for that goes for all outside uh, major city limits. The small town police. You got a scratch on your motherfucking vehicle. You know what I'm saying? A bird shit on your windshield or some shit like that. Your ass is getting pulled the fuck over. And you're going to get a citation for every little thing they find. So, yeah, that's why I'm not driving right now. Even though, you know, I know my eyes is fucked up. I still have a driver's license. <laughs> I still have a driver's license even though I can't see work shit. That's one of the few places I do drive. Because the only thing I got to do is hop on the freeway and keep straight and then get off the freeway and it's right there. It's like literally just, a, I just got to drive in a straight fucking line for 10 minutes. I can handle it. Uh, it's one of the few places I drive. It's, it's one of the, you know, I tell people I don't really drive around for fun unless I need to. The only two places I really drive uh, that's not immediately in my neighborhood is the dollar store. 99 cent on the store that's up north 59. All they gotta do hop on the freeway, drive straight for about 10 minutes. And the the gym, which I rarely hardly go to, but all they gotta do is hop on 59, hop on 610, uh I-10 East, drive straight for 10 minutes. I can handle that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can, you know, my vision is bad. It ain't that bad. At least not yet. Uh but other than that, I don't I don't I'm not driving across town and no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, not unless it's a fucking emergency. Or a lot of money. <laughs> and ain't none of those popped up yet, thank goodness. So. Well, not the money part, but the emergency. So. I'm for the, uh, yeah, I'm for the go ahead and go. Fuck it. Stop being cheap. Stop being cheap. No, I, I'm for the just get up and go. But I won't, I won't, this won't be a weekly thing. Now that I tell you, this is going to be something that I have to do twice a month and then my, my, Lesser workouts will have to be done here at the, at the shop, but my main overall workouts, full body, but I have to call them body shock now because now that I'm going to the fucking gym, I have to make it worth it. So when I go in here, I'm going to go hard for as long as I can, which probably won't be long at all. But if, if I'm not, I should not be able to walk or do anything for like the next two or three days. 
I should be hating myself when I leave out here. So we go see how this go. people so of course a couple of minutes later my ass is up here at the gym and of course it is a full parking lot up here at the fitness connection and what's about to happen is I'm gonna go in here and everything it's a nice deal up here just in case y'all didn't know <laughs> They always advertising that, but it's been like that for the last 15, 16 years. The same thing. They keep advertising the same thing over and over again. I think you, I think we all know by now. But um, uh, all everything is going to be occupied when I get in here. So I'm going to have to be selective about what I do. Uh, and hopefully don't nobody want to uh, work on the same machines that I'm trying to get on today. You know, see right there, that's not a parking spot. That is not a parking spot. They need to have somebody come up here and uh, deal with that. <laughs> they do that a lot up here. They just park their fucking shit anywhere. All right, people. So I'm in the gym right now. I'm, I'm on the, damn, I can't get no, I'm on the leg press machine now. Um, I got a couple of sets in. Um, I'm trying to get myself together. Um, what did I get here? God damn it. Can't even get off the damn seat. Oh. I wouldn't, uh, bought me some of this I hope this stuff don't have my chest burning later on to kind of get me started up in here um, on the way up here I'm kind of recovering right now but on the way up here I don't know did I record this already I don't think I did but uh, uh riding up here I had my mask on you don't have to have the mask on in the gym you know they you know how some places then got it done a, got away with that mask shit but uh, me personally, I, I have a hard time breathing in a mask, and at certain points, I have a hard time breathing without my mask on. So, I uh, mean, I got enough problems already. But on the ride up here, um, ride. I don't. First of all, I have. I don't like being a passenger in nobody's car. Um, I'm one of those people that get like motion sickness, and shit like that. It don't happen when I'm driving, but. Um, but sometimes riding in the back of an Uber or something like that, I get that little, that little sweaty, nauseous kind of feeling, you know what I'm saying? And that's only on a 10 minute ride. So, uh, I went through some of that on the way up here. Wasn't nothing wrong with the man vehicle or nothing like that. And plus I had this mask on, which was making it hard for me to breathe on top of that. Uh, so by the time I got in here, I was already ready to go home. I was like, ugh. But I already knew, I knew that was gonna pass, so. Went ahead and bought me a little pep. Put a little pep in my step. Uh, right now, like I said, I already started a couple of, I'm getting ready to do the heavy reps. Um, the heavy reps on this uh, uh, leg press now to where I can only do maybe about eight reps at the most, hopefully. That's my tip two for before I start moving on the other stuff. Um, the gym was packed and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go exercise by exercise, and I'm not used to be looking around, seeing who's on what machine until I actually get to that part. Because this, like I said, this is a big ass gym. It is plenty of uh, everything up in here, so there's really no excuse. You talk, if you just talk about somebody on the machine, it ain't. A, yeah, it's it's another machine. It might not be what you prefer, but it, it's it's something open. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing about this big ass gym, they don't have like the individual cable road machines where you can do your little cable uh, crosses and shit like that. Only thing they got is that big big monkey ball system or whatever you want to call it back there but where you have to use two stations to do the cable workouts and shit like that. that that's the only thing about this uh, gym that I don't much care for but it is what it is. They got everything else that you need. So right now I'm going to go back to uh, uh, these leg press squeeze out these last three or four heavy sets and then uh, move on.
so I can get my ass up out of here. All right, people, so I'm in here now. I done did my leg exercises. I done did some back. And um, I'm on this little uh, dip tricep push down machine, I guess is what they call it. And um, next, when I get off of here, I'm gonna go do some abs. I'm gonna hop on one of these ab machines. No matter how I work out. That's usually the last thing I do. Um, I can't say I'm pooped right now. I'm not overly tired, but uh, after I do the abs, um, I'll see what I feel like doing after that, whether I'm just gonna leave or I'm gonna hop on another machine and do a set or something. Um, like I said, I'm doing, a, I'm doing this push down thing right now. This is kind of work your pecs and your triceps. Uh, which is somewhat what I did yesterday. I think the only thing I, I missed out today is the shoulder press. So now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's, uh, I might finish off with that. I'll hop on one of these uh, machines. Oh, I might just go back there with the barbells and, and do some shoulder press like that since I think that'll be more effective. But uh, the way my, the way I, my, body is operating right now um, standing up doing um, shoulder press might not be the best thing just for some reason like I've mentioned before in other videos that I for some reason if I'm moving or if I'm sitting I'm fine but if I'm standing up still I gotta grab my shorts you know what I'm saying I'm like Whew, I don't know what it is uh, but yeah now that I'm thinking about it if I go back there and just go over and try to do like just stand it up shoulder press I'd have to hop on one of these machines and do it which is fine for now I'm just starting out I'll work my way up to the rest of that stuff a little bit later but uh, you know I'm getting a little workout in where I think I should with uh, either tomorrow or the next day Monday or Tuesday I should be uh, my body should be letting me know that I did something today all right people so I'm on a bonus exercise I'm on a hammer strip machine that y'all can't really see uh, and I'm just doing like some extra reps. I did all the exercises that I kind of could do. And this is a bonus exercise right here. And um, I still have to go, this is fucking 340 something. So I still have to go outside when I leave here, walk all the way, halfway up the freeway and across on the other side to go buy the dollar store. So I got about a good 20, 30 minutes of walking ahead of me outside in the no shaded heat. Um, <laughs> and that's why I even get in the store, do the little shopping I said I was gonna try to do, and then uh, call the Uber and make my way back home. So um, the weightlifting is pretty much done at this point. Now it's the cardio part. And um, Cardio is exactly right when you're walking outside at three o'clock in the afternoon, which most of y'all know is the hottest part of the fucking day. And it, y'all can't see outside the window over there because it's kind of, but it's, it ain't nothing but sun out there. It really is. It ain't nothing but sun out there. It's, it's gonna be hot. And I gotta walk in it. And that was part of the fucking plan. So uh, I do better walking in the heat than I do just sitting here on this chair, stranger enough. So, kind of looking forward to it, but that means I'm close to my day being done. I can get back to the house and sit the fuck down and uh, figure out what I'm gonna eat today. Cause I still haven't figured that out. I got some mixed nuts in my bag, but that's, that's not a fucking meal, is it? No, it's not. I gotta go home, make me a protein shake and all that other stuff. So, oh, I will catch y'all on the walk outside. Woo! Look, I hit the button, y'all making me look stupid. This is one of the stops right here that I was like I could stay 
I can make back there in this little shopping center here is a tinsel time movie theater I was like I can make one well, if I came down here and I was gonna be gone for a while I could I could stop there there's also a 24-hour fitness up in here over there somewhere <laughs> it's a 24-hour fitness. I used to be a 24-hour member uh, but they gym memberships are a lot more than fitness connections so and it's a Chinese buffet up in here over there too that I like to stop by not today though but it, it's on the agenda one of these days when I have to make my way out here if I gotta come out on the side of town to make it worth it stop by the gym I can either catch a movie hit the buffet make it a day All right, goodness, man, that goddamn trash thing. But anyway, they go to John Dollar. That's the uh, next destination. They got a fucking rainbow right there. Used to be a Father's Paredes right there. That's why I used to actually do all my shopping at Father's Paredes. That got bought out or closed down or whatever the fuck. Now it's just a fucking rainbow, which don't sell men's clothes at all. So fuck Rainbow. Fuck him right in the ass. John Dollar on the other hand, they sell a lot of neat stuff. For a dollar and nine. I don't know. They might have raised their prices for all, uh -oh, for all I know. I'll find out when I get in here. Well, I'm walking around the dollar store right now, just wandering around this motherfucker. And I'm having a hard time just staying upright because I am tired. And I'm trying to, I'm walking through the store trying to make sure I get wherever I can because it might be a while for the next time I'm here. Like months. <laughs> so, I did get my things though. The little toilet tabs I was telling you about. Five in a pack, baby. I got four of them too, so. Just to make sure I don't run out no time soon. Don't know if they actually work, but you know. I just like having blue water. That's all I can say. All right, I'm sitting right outside the store now. I just bought these shades for a dollar. <laughs> I got another one, not a dollar, two dollars. I bought another pair too. I put the other pair I had uh, in the bag. But, uh, and my hat. Somewhere I took my hat off in that fucking store. You know, like I said, I'm tired as hell right now. I'm sitting down now. I came out and uh, like my big bag, you know, you can't be walking around the store with this motherfucker. So I left it out in the front by the counter with it. But I was walking through the store and it wasn't until I checked out, I came out here and I was like, man, where the fuck is my hat? <laughs> I was like, my fucking hat. <laughs> but I got over here, I got down, sat down, I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna go back in there and look for this fucking hat. I really wouldn't. And it wasn't until I got here, I was getting ready to put this, put my little stuff in my gym bag and I see my hat was in the bag with my goods. So somewhere I had sat down or either dropped my hat and uh, either one of the employees or somebody picked it up, put it to the front desk. He just put it in my bag. He ain't tell me nothing. I was about to leave this fucking hat. I, at this point, I am just that tired where I don't give no shits. <laughs> I really am. I can't I can't stand up right for more than a couple of seconds without having to grab my shorts, if you know what I mean. Um, so I can't wait to get home and uh, get rested up. So I can eat, because I am going to be hungry after this workout. Oh. Uh. I'll catch y'all. I'm finna get ready to call up. Say well. Send for an Uber. I'll catch y'all when I make it back to the house. Hey man, I done made it home. I done cooled off a little bit. I got the cat crawling on me and all kind of other shit. This <laughs> I am pooped, baby. So I'm guessing I did what I set out to do today. If I didn't come back home tired, then what what was the fucking point? I even got to the dollar store 
and was able to buy my little toilet tabs or whatever you call them damn thing. They in my bag. I'm, I don't even feel like looking to see what they what they actually call them shits. My blue water. My blue toilet water. I got a bunch of that, so. Uh. So I guess this will be my this this shit was supposed to have started at the beginning of the year. My uh initial video for this year's workout reboot. Now what I gotta do, until whenever the next time that I hit the gym, the actual gym, is that I gotta uh make sure that I'm steady working out. No matter how much it is, uh, you know, taking my walks or doing a little running out in the front, uh, doing some floor exercises, maybe some push-ups or, or body weight squats over here at the house, uh, hitting what weights I got over there at the shop. I have to be doing something. You know what I'm saying? I have to be doing something. And that's my goal. I got to try to keep it up. I'm not worried about how much I weight or what I look like at this point because it really don't matter because all of that ain't going to come until I get in good enough shape to actually perform workouts like I need to, which I am not at right now. I know form and all the other stuff, but I I don't have the physical conditioning to carry on a workout that would, you know, talk about muscle building and body shaping and all that type of stuff. I'll be tired. I'll be, I'll be, I really would be, I'll be tired as hell before I even got to that point of doing any exercise. Because I ain't never been one of those people that walk into the gym and it's chest and pec day or whatever the fuck. Well, chest is a pec, but you know, deltoid day and all that shit. And they feel they go in there and hit the muscle from 17 different angles. So they in there working two body parts and they doing 35 different exercises. I ain't, no. Mm -mm. I go in there. I, I might do a couple. I might do a couple of exercises. Just like I might do, like I did, I did do chest exercise today. I did some push downs. Um, I did hop on the hammer, hum, uh, that little hammer bench press machine at the end because it was free. I'm like, fuck it. I might as well hop on it. I did a little bit of that and I did my shoulder presses. And essentially I just did my uh, four sets of eight to 10. Now, usually it's more than four sets because you got warm-up sets and shit. But generally, that that's what I do. Once that, once I get that down, you know what I'm saying? Once I go in the gym and it's obvious that that's not enough, then I step it up to where, you know, my, my uh, workouts are more involved. But it's going to be a while for that. I'm not in the same type of shape I was in my 20s and early 30s and shit. Where I can just go in there and be like, by the time I get to my 34th exercise, my mind not even on working out no more. You know, <laughs> it's not. I'm just like, I'm ready to go. So I got that done. I'm happy. Baby steps, man. Baby steps. So I'm going to catch y'all later on the next one.